thanks for tuning into this video. If you're already subscribed and you're watching this before you even watch the film, please just put down in the comments what you consider a long run to be for you. It's interesting to know what your goals are, what you're training for and what a long run is. So yesterday I went on a long run and during that long run I started thinking, is this normal? Am I normal? And if you have a look through some of my other long runs that aren't races, um, I'm starting to think that maybe I'm in the minority when it comes to doing long runs, especially in training. So for me, a long run is anywhere from 15 to 45 miles. And that is a big, broad spectrum. And I've always been like that. I've always had a drive to be able to go and test myself and do these long runs self-supported. And I guess that contradicts a lot what you read in training programs with regards to what a long run is. So I thought I'd start by answering what I think a long run is. Now this changes, and I answer this in the video uh, in a bit more detail, but this changes on your individual ability, your experience, what your running goals are, which will determine what a long run for you is. So for me, I think the most important thing I like to get out of training is to see some sort of results or reassurance that the training that I'm doing is having an effect. So you'll have to see how far I run in this video, uh, which was one of my long runs, but it went really well, the weather was warm, and I just wanted to cover what it is that I think a long run is. So let me know in the comments and enjoy the video. It's 4.30 a.m. Just hiked up from Stroud, which is down there. And uh, I was up very early with uh, an impulsive decision to run a long way today. Um, I've got a rough idea of how far that is, but you'll have to find out at the end. But at this time in the morning, I've got the whole world to myself. Sunrise due any minute now and uh, shaping up to be a beautiful day. So come along and let's see what this adventure holds. Let's go. today's long run. The first one is just to enjoy it. I mean, I'm lucky to be able to run. I chose to get up this early, so I need to make the most of it and enjoy it. Second one is to make sure I fuel correctly, take on enough hydration because it's already getting warm. And the final one is to try and stay in zone two. Keep it nice and easy, gentle, walk, walk the uphills and uh, just try and keep that heart rate down and just see what result that brings. So those are the goals. Just over nine miles in, hour and a half. Let's go. As I'm on the long run today, I thought I'd just quickly talk to you about what I think a long run is. And a long run obviously varies from person to person, and this depends on your running goals and your running experience. If you're new to running, a long run could be five miles, or if you're a marathon or ultra runner, a long run could be anything from 15 to 30 miles. 
your long run should be done slowly. It should feel slow. You should be able to hold a conversation quite easily from the start to the finish of the run. And you should not feel tired coming towards the end of that run. As I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to stay in zone two. And for your long runs, you should certainly be aiming to run in zones one or two and doing your best to definitely stay away from zones three, four and five. Try and do your long run at least once a week or at least every two weeks and try and keep it consistent throughout your training block. For me, this is an exception to that as it's longer than my normal long runs and you'll see how far that is at the end. These long runs will help build your stamina endurance systems that will then allow you to run for further and feel stronger. And over time, it'll allow you to run longer distances and more efficiently, which will delay the dreaded onset of that hitting the wall feeling, especially during race day. And lastly, but also importantly, these long runs do actually help build speed over shorter distances like five and 10K as well. So if you are a short distance runner, Consider doing long runs as well in your training block. As counterproductive as it seems, it is worth it. Been running for two hours now. 13 miles in, 6.30 a.m. Still nice and cool. Sun's up though, it's gonna get warm soon. Let's keep going. miles in now three hours 25 and still feeling fine taking on fluids and gels fine it's warm and I've noticed that uh, it's quite hard to keep my heart rate now in zone two so the top end of that is 133 for me so I'm keeping an eye on it but I guess there's a balance that you've got to make between actually moving at a decent speed and keeping it in heart rate zone too, so we'll see. Still enjoying it. Amazing day. A couple more hours I reckon. And we'll see uh, see where we get to. <laughs> Okay, it's hot now. Very warm. A few more miles. And then I need a lot to drink. 
nearly out of everything. So probably could have done with a little bit more, but this is why we do these training long runs, don't we? Anyway, let's crack on. There we have it, all done. 32 and a half miles was the final distance. And out of all my goals, I'd say at least two of them were achieved. I definitely enjoyed that. Um, I definitely fueled well and properly with everything I had. I probably could have done with some more to be honest, but that's a lesson to learn. And the final one, keeping in zone two, I'm not too sure about, I don't think I did. Actually no, cancel that. Yeah, the majority of that run was in zone two, so. All three goals achieved, nice one. I am thirsty now, I'm very grateful the sun's gone in. So uh, yeah, I enjoyed that, my legs feel okay, we'll see what they feel like tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.